Hello, I want to introduce you to this sample prep for the SEM. So to acquaint you, this is called the stub. This will actually go into the tray later on for the scanning. So the stub is one millimeter in diameter. And one of the techniques is called the carbon tape. So you'll take the first layer off. You'll have the carbon tape kind of the one side of the sticky area. So it's sticky on both sides. So you have one side of it. You'll press it down. Make sure it's centered over the stub as much as possible. Push down really well. And then peel it off. At this point, this is all sticky. So you would really want to have your sample ready to be mounted. This is for samples that are flatter or that will stick really well with carbon tape. Remember they have to be dried, non-metallic materials. So this is actually diatoms. You don't want a lot. Believe it or not, there's tons of them in here. So this would be like a pile of, uh, of stuff. So you really want to minimize how much your sample is. So I will take N that much. And now I'm ready for prep. While I'm waiting for prep, I'll set it into the tray here. Actually, um, put it there. And then I'm going to do another one. This one is the wet mount. So if you have a bigger item like an insect, insect park, this is the piece of a, uh, the eye pieces of the a butterfly, you're going to want to probably use something more secure. Now you can first try the tape, but if the tape doesn't work and it, and it blows off, and we'll show the blowing off procedure in a second, then you need to work with something that's a little stronger. So I'll take another tab, and this time I'm going to be using colloidal graphite. Okay, Same idea uh, as the other material. So you open up the colloidal graphite, and this time I probably suggest that you actually set it up in a little bench area here. So you may want to have someone else hold this. Make sure it doesn't flex too much. Get it set up maybe on a bench. These paper benches. You can take it and dab it. Now it, it, it really dries pretty quickly. So you want to have a nice glob there. I'm going to find my head here. There, and you want to close that up. And you want to use forceps to really position it well. Really getting my position well right here. Put it right there. You know, lightly, gently push down a little bit. And you might want to, just to verify, just to make sure, put some more around it. Not getting it on the surface because remember you're scanning everything and if you put it on the surface that you're going to scan you're going to actually just see the graphite. And you're going to want to let it dry. Okay now before we actually set it up and put it into the scan electron microscope you're going to make, want to make sure that this is attached because this is a vacuum any of this stuff could actually end up in the machine and that would be a bad thing. So you're going to use uh, liquid air and you're going to come out from a distance, and we're going to do it over here. And you're going to do a swirling motion from about maybe a foot and a half all the way up to about two inches to make sure that everything, all the loose pieces have come off. So I'm going to come around here, okay, and I'll do it a couple times. Okay, now notice nothing has come off. The teacher may ask to blow it off again one more time just to make sure and then it's ready. So let's go see if this other one is now ready. You can tell it's dry because it's like a lighter gray. Now this could blow off and then you know that's always a, an issue and if it blows off then hopefully so it, one of the mouthpieces did blow off but the eyes are still intact. I'll do it one more time. Okay, looks like it's in good shape. Alright, we're ready to scan. Let's load our sample. Take your sample with two fingers. Mine are huge, so it's a little hard. With two fingers, take the cup and place your sample in the cup. Push down until it's all the way down. Make sure the sample is flush 
with the top of the cup, and you will have to eye this. Once it is flush, use the side notch and click over four times to the right. One, two, three, four. This makes sure that the sample is low enough so it won't damage the SEM. Place the cup into the slot in the SEM. Push all the way in until the green light goes on. And then push down the door. And the door goes down pretty fast. Now the vacuum starts. You can then press the scanning button, which is this maze looking button. Boom. When you've inserted your sample, you are ready to map it. So the first thing you do is you press this button that looks like a maze. And this will take a few seconds to map the entire sample. And then the next thing you're going to do is go into settings, press label, and this is already set up for me. And we want silkworm, but then you're going to put period 2, let's say, team 3, and then DVA for Da Vinci Arts. Once you're done, you can press OK, bottom right hand corner, and then you're going to go back to the image. Then you are ready to start scanning, and it's this button at the top that looks like a plus sign, and the vacuum begins. Alright, and you are ready to move around your sample. So to move around your sample, you can touch it. Do not drag your finger, as that does not work. Pick an area that you think is great. You can use this screen down here to get a more zoomed out view. And you can take a picture on either three of the screens. So, this is a pretty bad focus. So this focus knob down here with the A is the autofocus. You might have to click that multiple times. And we're going to do it again. And the contrast button is right above the focus. You can press that if you think it looks a little too bright. And then if you want to zoom in on anything in specific, so I want to zoom in on this dark spot, I'm going to turn the knob to the right, and it will zoom in. It will be out of focus at first, and then you can press autofocus and I will do it again alright and say I want to take a photo this large screen I would press this camera button up here alright so now I want to take a photo of this I would press this button And this screen, I want to take a photo of that. And so I'm going to, whoop, sometimes that happens. And I'm going to take a photo of that. There you go. So if you want to measure any of your photos, go into Archive. There's a bunch of photos here already. And click on the photo that you want to measure. So this one looks great. So I want to measure one, or from this hole to that hole. So I use this ruler button, and I click on the left side, and then I'm going to touch on the right side. And that looks like it's about 290 micrometers. 
and I have to save whatever I do. So I click save. That's going to save a new image. And then if I'm done with that, I can go back to image. And if I'm completely done with everything that I want to do, I click this eject button up here. And then I have to confirm it. And your sample will be ejected. And wait until you see the green light on the SEM. Raise the door, take your cup out very carefully, and then you can twist the cup all the way up until your sample can be taken off. Make sure not to damage your sample. Put the cup on top of the SEM, and then you can place your sample in your box, and you're done.